Oh, 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 happy holidays. Toronto real estate prices are going up. This is my plan, what you can do about it, what I'm gonna do about it. Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto real estate agent, mortgage broker, and today I'm gonna talk to you about what you can do in an area, in an era where real estate prices are going up all the time and it's just not gonna stop anytime soon. Why? Watch my previous videos, so Day is really about what to do because the prices are going up. Uh, we already concluded in the previous video that they're going up about $200 a day for the condos, $225 for the town, it's $250, $250 more every day, and $300 more for every home in Toronto every day. Uh, it's going to be a short video today, it's holidays, but it's a very important message, so listen up. The Toronto real estate uh, prices are not going to go down anytime soon, okay? I don't want to tell you anything different is uh, a dreamer, that's great, um, but it's really going to need a global catastrophe for anything like this to change, okay? Uh, there's so much money coming into Toronto, so much money, mostly by immigration, some through old money, means money that's been in this country for over a generation, sometimes two, three, four, five, and so on, uh, but it's a lot of new money coming in. Um, there's a lot of new money being put into the global monetary system. The feds are printing money like crazy. Everyone's printing money. So it causes inflation, it causes prices to go up, and there's devaluation everything else. Uh, and that's why you see the stock markets are up, 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 and the real estate markets are up, 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 and that's not gonna change. So if you are sitting on $100,000 today, even 80,000, you can buy something. The thing is that that 80,000 today, within three months, will be probably worth 70,000, and in six months, probably worth 60,000. And then 100,000, you basically you can take off 10,000 per month for your available deposit. Or you can think about it the other way, the deposit you need increases by 10,000 every month, every month. Okay, so this, if, if you're in the market, if you're thinking about it, not sure, doing this, doing that, um, my plan to you is to take action, take massive positive action. If you don't do it today, you probably won't be able to do it later. It's like the Tesla stock, you know, if I don't buy it today, it's so up, I'm gonna wait for it to crash, but it's not gonna crash because there's just too many indicators. It has to go up and it has to go a fold of 10 times in the next two to four years. So that's how Elon gets paid. And if you look at what they're doing, it's true. Now go to DuckDuckGo or Google and put your CCAP on assignments, okay? Put your CCAP on assignments and hit the search button. And then you can go from the web and read some stuff. You can hit the videos if you prefer and see all the videos that have mentioned assignments and what to do about them. And this is from a video from 10 years ago that I started uh, doing videos about assignments and show you here and my friend Randy. We are so such good looking people then. And still. <laughs> uh, but how much cash do you need to buy assignment? How do you get an assignment? How do you buy it? Where to find it? How to partner with people? Assignments, you know, their assignments are going to be sold in 2020 that <clears throat> were purchased in 2016, 17, 18 for a lot less than what they're worth today. That means that the margin on these assignments, you know, people bought condos for six and seven hundred dollars a foot, they're selling for a thousand and eleven hundred a foot. And by the way, those assignments you sell for a thousand a foot that I told you about in previous videos, you can definitely consider them at 1,100 a foot right now. That means your $600,000 assignment that you're looking at is 656.60. And that 700,000 is 750 to 780. And a million dollar assignment you looked at is a million one. Okay, just, just add 10% and you're good. Okay, so if, if you didn't buy it today, that's totally good. All you gotta do is just add 10 more percent and you can have the same thing for 10% more tomorrow. Makes sense, right? You got it. So, assignments have to be sold for less than what developer is uh, selling you new construction, which is around 1300 and up these days. Um, but they're going to be more than the market, the resale market, because they're considered new and because the sellers of assignments want to capitalize on them. So, if the market is running at around 1000 a foot downtown, why wouldn't assignment be 1000 to 1200 Say average 11. And that's really what I'm seeing. You can still pick up an assignment at 488 University with 1200 a foot, where just a regular standard condo also selling for 1200 a foot, just a couple blocks away, um, which is a better deal to spend the same amount of money on top of the subway in a very high-end building, or to, stay in the, or to spend the same kind of money at Liberty Village. 
You see what I'm saying? It makes a lot of sense. Uh, the reason that there will be an increase in 2020, I'm looking right here, uh, and the reason there will be an, an increase in, uh, in 2020 is because the economic indicator as such that the price have to come up. There's so much money looking out. There's so much money looking out of Asia, China mainly, but other countries. You know, there's a lot of unrest around the world. And Canada is a safe country to invest. Country, Canada welcome investors. It's a global thing. There's nothing you and I can do about it. But what we can do is we can invest now instead of tomorrow. Okay? Why would I wait for that Amazon stock to drop? You know it's not going to drop. Why would I wait for the Apple stock to drop? It's not going to drop. Tesla is not going to drop. Condos are not going to drop. If you are kind of a techie uh, people or you look at the stock market, you can see the correlation between the stock market and the prices of Toronto real estate. Okay? Because it, it's, real estate is a hedge against everything else. And uh, stocks are hedge against everything else. And bonds are hedge against everything else. So if I spread my uh, eggs around um, these main investment uh, uh, corridors, options, verticals, whatever you want to call them, I'm safer. Now look here, condos.ca763, these are, these are the prices. So this number here will change, but it's been hovering over the 750, even I think I saw 766 the other day, and it's consistently showing 6 to 8% uh, rise in what condos.ca is measuring. And we know the, the real number is probably higher, and if you were to measure assignments, it would be way, way higher, because assignments are jumping on the price of crazy. That's why you have a chance to pick up assignment today. It's more complicated, needs more cash, but at the end of the day, you can do a really good deal. If you pick up an assignment for 1100 bucks today, remember the assignment was $1,000 yesterday, and it's 1100 today, but it's going to be 12 tomorrow. So do you want to pay 10% more tomorrow, or are you just going to buy today and let someone else buy from you for 10% more tomorrow or 20% more in a couple of years? Okay, so that's, that's the thinking. Why would you not take action? Obviously, it all comes to an emotional thing. You're not sure about it. Uh, your partner tells you, you heard something, you read someone's comment that they've never done any good business, and they, of course, say everything is bad because that's their own experience. It's a negative experience with finance, with handling money and investment, so they just telling everyone it's gonna crash because they don't feel good about themselves. So that's all psychological thing. You must stay focused and absolutely clear on target stay on target and the target is to get the best investment for the least amount of uh, money possible the easiest transaction possible and basically to generate a great investment that will be really good for you and your family for a long time with the least amount of effort no stress that's how we like it so 763 a foot 765 a foot 764 a foot you see this is 770 this is 2019 is really pushing the 770 mark here so if we get to the, if we get, and that's already $14 more than the average, okay? So if we're gonna push this even only to 800, okay? Um, say $30 a foot, that's only 4%, but that means, you know, each condo is 30,000 more, each house is 60,000 more, and that's just an average. Once you go to downtown, those numbers double. So each condo is 60,000 more, and each house is $120,000 more. That, that's actually more than what I called for. But you can see how all these estimates basically coming down to about, each condo is gonna cost you about 20 bucks more a day, like any way you slice it, you come to, to that, that conclusion, okay? So if you, can, if you can afford today to reinvest, maybe you have a couple older condos, and then you can flip them. It doesn't matter what you do, just get the money in your pocket, get the profit in your pocket. You know, there's always a cost of sale, there's always some tax to be paid, whatever, who cares? If you can take that underperforming asset and flip it into a better performing asset, yes, you'll have some cost today, but once in a while, you know, that old car that costs more in, 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 in fixing, or that old condo you gotta keep renovating and you can't get the good tenants in, sometimes it's good just to get rid of it, sell it, and then get something better. And the better will cost you a little more, but it'll give you it'll give you a leeway, it'll give you a breathing space of five or ten years, which is good. I mean, don't you want to invest in something that for ten years you know will generate potential of generating great income and great appreciation and stable tenants? And in ten years you may only have to go to two or three tenants. That's my average. My average is three to four years per tenant. Most of my tenants now are at least three or four years in. That means that my average is increasing. Why? Because I'm a very good landlord. I'm really nice to my tenants. 
Um, I usually do everything they ask me on time. Uh, I'm a human like everybody else, not perfect, but I really do my best for them and they appreciate me, I appreciate them. And that's how it works, okay? So you're gonna look at all these things. You can also look, go to uh, torontocondos.forsale.com, I'll show how I did it. Uh, go to torontocondos.forsale.com, okay? Then go on projects in Toronto, and then look at projects that are going to complete occupancy in 2020. So it's right here, and then hit apply. It starts just cruising through these and start getting ideas, okay? And when you have something that you like, you'll see, can we, do you have any assignments at this project? Can we get any good deals at these projects? Now, some of these projects may not have assignments yet. At 57 Brock, okay, no assignments yet. They still have units for sale in 1,000 to 1,100, which to me is a fantastic value. People come to tell me, oh, it's Queen West, it's no downtown. Well, if you want to pay $300 more a foot, 25% more for a condo in the sky downtown where you're surrounded by thousands and thousands of other condos and you, and you can't even get on the subway, be my guest. That's okay, we can find you one of those. But it's not necessarily the best all right. It could be, but it may, it may be that the smaller designer buildings still connected by TTC are the way to go. A lot of the money that comes into Toronto, remember it comes from very large populated uh, areas, uh, like, a, like a medium sized Chinese town, is probably 20 or 30 million people. Yeah. Half of the population in Canada fits in one Chinatown and they probably have 100 of these towns here. So to them, to be on the subway is, is normal, it's reasonable. But to us, there's only two subway lines. It's not the end of the world because as Torontonians, for so many years, we're used to Toronto being a neighborhood area. And it's not like everyone's working downtown. So if you want to find something downtown, it's totally cool. Uh, but you will have a higher price to pay and a lot more competition all around you. Uh, but if you find something unique, this is right at the edge of Spadina. Okay, like projects like this. I'm just looking for unique stuff, good looking stuff. Um, that is a little unique, but it's not exactly like everything. Uh, 609 Avenue will come in uh, 2020, and uh, there's some assignments there. Uh, the developer is selling whatever they have left over 1,600 a foot. Why don't you grab an assignment here for 1,000 a foot or 1,100 a foot? Okay, that'd be really good. Uh, Max Condos, when this will become available, you know, a lot of people bought here very low prices, say 600 bucks a foot. So even if you pay them 900 a foot, what a steal! A thousand dollars of water still because once they come on the market, they're gonna start pushing the prices up and up and up. All these new condos, there's a wave of huge, large new condos coming in, and they're not gonna let go. They're gonna let go of the assignment a thousand a foot, but then they wanna they, after if they closed and they've registered, they probably want more money for it because they say, well, you know, that's my profit margin, but now I wanna realize. Uh, the expenses, the closing costs. So I had, I had to pay the b developer closing costs of fifty thousand. I had to pay land transfer tax, and uh, I have to pay the HST and then get it back because I'm an investor. All these things. So all these things will come into consideration. So you gotta be aware of these, and these are good buildings to start looking for assignments. Okay? You gotta be focused. You gotta be real. You gotta be realistic. Um, West condos, for example. It will launch the bottom section, sorry, the back here, if you can see the mouse clicks, the bottom section here, it will launch in 2020. We sold most of these units already, but you're not going to find anything a thousand a foot anymore because it's from the developer. But if you find an assignment in this building, you may be able to grab something for a thousand a foot. Now, that may not be the penthouse because penthouse will have a, um, a premium, but any of these midsection units at a thousand a foot would be a very, very good deal to buy. Very good deal. Off King Street, this is this is the best of King West. Like really nice boutique building, kind of hidden little place. Now with the assignment, they're not gonna get the full price developer is asking. It's just how it works. Um, but you have a choice as, a, as an investor to buy from developers, say 1,500 foot, or buy an assignment 11. Which one would you like to do? Which one would you like to do? Exact same unit, exact same building. The only difference is if you buy it as assignment, it's 1,100 foot. If you buy from developers, 1,500 foot. What would you do? Okay, you start to see what, what I'm talking about here. Okay, those prices here, uh, Toronto Real Estate Board, housing market, housing, you know, we need more housing. The world, the global village is moving to the cities and they're all coming to Canada and they got the money and you're looking here at the people that come to Canada with all the money. Bags of cash, 
I'd rather, I'd rather spend a little more here. Canadian dollar is really cheap anyways. It's easy for me to come to this country. I'm willing to make an investment in my future, in my family's future, even if it costs me a little more. It's still better than keeping my money in my home country where I feel unsafe. If I can get out, I get out. Who cares how much it costs me? In a few years, I can make it back anyways. That's how the immigrants think. So if you're an immigrant, you know totally what I'm talking about. I'm one, you know, we're all similar regardless where you come from. If you're not an immigrant, you're never in a problem looking at this, then this is how you need to think about it, okay? So if you want to stay ahead of the curve and glide on this orange line, then if you can invest, you should do it today. Because why would you do it tomorrow? Because you're gonna get less and less condo, less and less investment, and your ROI is gonna shrink and shrink because the price went up. Return on investment. The return is smaller if the investment is higher, but the, 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 the return, the rent, is the same, it's fixed. It cannot be too large because the renters, you know, their salaries are fixed. Okay, happy holidays. Investor Insider, go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, any of my sites, name, email, mobile, get info, you'll be registered. A few units left at Keeley, still at very, very good, amazing prices, a thousand bucks a foot. A very efficient two bedrooms. I would totally take a look into these. Okay, I will. I have the hot list if you want it. Send me an email, fill the form here, and you'll get a hot list. What's available right now? And I'll help you pick the right unit. Okay, um, you can you, you can you can do the your thumbs. That's okay. These units are very good. You can see I've posted quite a few of these uh, floor plans. So check them out. Very nice units. Okay, and some of the units are so efficient. In my opinion, if the unit itself goes up by say uh, 10%, okay, so that's your 60 to 80 thousand dollars right there. Plus the rent is good. You can put a little more deposit to generate positive cash flow. You can look at the con calculator to see how much uh, you need to put. It'll tell you. Just go to con do cal ca. And there we go. Put your name, put your email. The video will explain to you how to do it. And it will give you the break even estimate, the maintenance fee estimate, the municipal tax estimate, the mortgage estimate, tow carrying costs, rental income estimate, profit estimate, ROI. So you can play around with all this information, with all the data, and kind of start understanding what you can afford and what to look for when you actually become a landlord. Because you're going to become a landlord or you're going to flip it. If you flip it, it's one thing. You're definitely going to buy a flippable unit. You're going to become a landlord, you're going to think about your return on investment, how much you need to put down every month and how much you're going to get out every month. You need to educate yourself about assignments, go to Google, go to DuckDuckGo, UFC Capital Assignment, start watching these videos, okay? Some of these videos will literally tell you how to do an assignment, some of it will let, let you how to price them, how to get them for less, what to look for them, how to price them, what not to do. All this information is out. Educate yourself. Do the homework. This is my plan. My plan is to find the best deals and to find those buyers that bought two and three and four years ago and you need to flip now and try to get the offer from them the least I can I can do. Now I'm not the only smart guy in town, there's a lot of smart people in town, okay? I am smart, but there's a lot of smart people too. And those smart people are doing exactly what I'm doing, exactly the same. Okay? So you can't just sit on it and think it'll happen. These are all pre-made searches, by the way. If you think it's going to happen for you, it, it's not. You're going to have to, you have to go. Where's the assignment? I need to update on the OC Catholic. But what I did, I went to, uh, I was fast. I went to the urbanrealtytoronto.com. You either look at the site for assignments or you look at the bottom here. And it should be here. Assignments right here. Click that. And there's a pre-made search open for you. These are not all the assignments. These are some assignments, but I'll give you a good idea. Okay, there are hundreds and hundreds of assignments available, but you can check a few here. There's always about 60 or 70 or 80 of them on this system. And the rest you'll check. But look at this here, 489, 200 Dundas. Now there's a lot of units at 200 Dundas. So maybe that's the opportunity to actually find something for the below half a million. At least you have something. Okay, where else would you find a unit smack downtown for half a million? <laughs> it's not possible. So, that's what I got for you guys. You gotta take action. You have to take action. 
if you're not gonna, that's okay, but you just gotta beat yourself next year, and that's totally fine. This is my plan. What is your plan? Let me know in your comments. Happy New Year, happy holidays, good luck to everyone. Take care.